Welcome back to my channel. Wow, a cell phone, relax. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Zoe here if you're new, and today I'm back with another video. And today I am going to be showing you guys how I dyed this hair this like nice cherry burgundy color. I can't really tell if you can like see it on the camera but it's like a reddish burgundy color so i'm basically going to teach you guys how i dyed it without bleach and um also how i installed the wig um so before i get into the tutorial portion of the video i did want to talk about where the hair is from and this hair is actually from beauty forever hair shout out to them um they sent me this wig it is a 150 density wig 20 inches of straight hair except i don't think this is 20 inches like normally oh i was about to fall normally 20 inches like falls like right here on me but this almost comes to like my hips and usually when hair comes to my hips it's about like a 22 24 i don't know if they accidentally sent me like a longer wig or what i'm not complaining hair company but it obviously came with a wig um they sent some wig caps which i think is super duper dope because i personally hate having to buy these like this is just very tedious um they also sent me a silk scarf but it's like christmas themed with reindeers on it like i thought that was so freaking cute and um it also came with an extra clip it already has three clips in um the wig uh two on the side and then one in the back but an extra clip just in case you want some extra security and then it also came with adjustable bands which i thought was a really cool thing like a lot of companies don't send you adjustable bands and some people really need them um my only downfall with these is i tried to put it like in and i don't know if i'm just dumb but like i literally could not figure out how to do this like i didn't know if i was supposed to sew it in there or if it was supposed to clip somewhere i was highly confused 150 density 20 inch straight hair frontal um, this is what the frontal is looking like. It is not my best frontal off the strength that when I was dyeing the hair, I accidentally dyed the lace. Anyway, I did want to talk about some of the specs on the hair before I teach her how I basically put it on and all of that. Um, so honestly, quality of the hair, amazing. I literally, literally, literally love this hair. There's like no tangling the softness of it is like it's super duper soft has a nice luster to it um no shedding like literally the actual hair super duper bomb the only thing that i personally did not like about this wig was that the lace on the wig was extremely dark um you guys will see once i'm like dyeing it and stuff i'm gonna do a voiceover so i guess i'll mention it when like i show it um but the lace that they sent was really really dark i'm light skin the lace that they sent was definitely meant for somebody who is brown skin or dark skin which is totally fine like shout out to that but like i feel as though companies when they see like who they're sending the product to they should try to match the lace to their skin tone it would just be very helpful um because it's easy for you to darken a lace and tint it but once the lace is too dark it's actually kind of hard to lighten it without making it look super cakey with makeup all of that so like i was able to make it look like decent but like compared to what i would want it to look like or compared to how i would want the lace to appear it was just a little too dark for me but that's literally my only con about the hair the actual hair itself super duper nice super silky super straight no tangles no shedding like i'm obsessed i've been wearing it for a couple days now um i really love this color on me can't hold you i think it's super freaking cute okay um so yeah i'm gonna stop chatting and i'm gonna get into the actual portion of the video where you guys can see how i dyed the hair um and all of that okay you guys so this is basically me just showing you guys the wig um as you guys can see in the next clip the lace is a lot darker than my skin um and the frontal isn't that plucked so we're going to fix that later but essentially how i lighten the hair initially without using bleach is you literally have to just go in with 40 volume developer i got this from beauty supply for like five dollars and literally all you want to do is just coat your whole wig or your hair with the 40 volume developer definitely wear gloves because it does burn um but this is just a simple way to lighten your hair up just a little bit it's not going to lighten it as much as bleach but it will take it to a lighter brown color which will make it easier for you to apply the color later on so all i'm basically doing is just saturating the hair with the developer and letting it sit i let it sit for about two hours and i think if i let it sit for a little bit longer it could have lifted more um, but I wasn't too upset with how the color came out. Run down, go down, she give me on a loop now. Go down anywhere you wanna go now. Batman me, I put you on a first class. No, 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 no,
So as you guys can see, after two hours, it did lighten the hair. It did have more of a red tone to it, which was actually beneficial to what we were doing today. Um, and also after you put on the developer, if you put it on the roots, it will lighten the roots and a tad bit of the knots, but I did still have to go back and bleach the knots a little bit more. Um, so you're just going to wash that completely out. And from there, we are going into coloring the hair. And today I am using one box. I didn't actually use both of them. I only used one box of the Revlon color silk uh, hair dye in vivid red and then the adore plus in burgundy red and i basically what i did was just mix both of those together into a bowl and separated the hair and then just dyed the whole thing Oh, and just an FYI, I only used half of the bottle of the Adore, and then I had a hella dye left over. Um, honestly, all of this covered the hair and made the color pretty well, so you don't have to buy as much as I did. And as I said before, I did accidentally dye the lace, and I did not know this tip before I started dyeing the hair, but if you do plan on dyeing up all the way to the roots, what you want to do is spray some got to be free spray on the lace part and then blow dry it, and that should block the lace from getting tinted from the dye. So just keep that in mind if you are dyeing your hair any type of color, not to dye the lace. Look back, baby, make your look back. Ah, move that. Way I move that, touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that, and time you ready, now you they mash up the place, I so after I let it sit for a while and washed it out, this is the beautiful color that we got. I already customized the front of the hairline, um, so if you guys want a video on that, let me know. But after that, you just gotta put good sis on, okay? Flip it back. Um, so basically, I am just putting this on, and from here, I am basically going to cut off the ear tabs to basically make sure that I don't have extra fabric and hair across my ears. I wanted to make it as natural as possible. So just align it up and cut it also if you see holes in my lace it's because i accidentally burned it with a hot comb when i was trying to do the hairline so just be careful if you're using a hot comb on your hair Okay, and this is my personal method of how I put on a frontal. I basically cut the lace into four different sections to make it easier for application. So I'm basically just cutting it three times across the head. And from there, I basically like to cut off the lace before I put it on. A lot of people like to put it on beforehand. I personally don't, that's just like a personal preference. And to cut my lace, I am using these eyebrow shard things, I don't even know what these are called. But you can get a bigger version of this from the beauty supply, or you can use scissors. I just think that this is easier and closer to proximity of the hairline when you're cutting it. Um, and from there, I am going to be using a foundation that is lighter than my skin um, to place on the lace because it is too dark. This did somewhat of the trick, it still was a little bit uh, dark when I put it on, but it worked. And then from there, I'm basically just making a mark in my forehead to know where I am placing the wig. Um, if I rub my face, it gets red, so that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, and from there, I'm basically going to be going in with my Got To Be Free Spray, and I apply the front of my wig first, and then I go to the side portion. So I'm just putting on the free spray, and then I'm going to blow dry it, and once it's tacky, I'm going to glue it on, and then I'm just going to do that for the perimeter of my head. It's fake Original, popping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want, they none the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. 
Then I tell her me she give her never trust another nigga. I say she give me from the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she run another nigga. I who's that? Baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make you look back. I move Okay, you guys, key to success. If you plan on wearing wigs, you need to invest in a hot comb. They are not that expensive, but they are literally the best way to make sure that the top of your wig is laying as flat as possible. You don't want a bulky frontal or closure, okay? So I'm basically just hot combing my hair, and from there, I'm about to lay the baby hairs. So I'm just taking a small section of hair from the perimeter of the wig, and I'm basically going to cut it with the shards, and then I'm going in with my got-to-be gel it but the black version and that is what i use to lay my edges i just think that gives it the most secure it lays your lace down even more and your edges just don't move so i'm just gonna lay my edges and yeah Man a grind, say she give me dusty wine, say Girl, say my wine in every grind, in other things, so Any man, let me look in other things, so Girl, your body say and last but not least, I'm going in with my Ors Olive Oil Foam. I rubbed it together in my hands, you kind of can't really tell that it's foam. But this is just going to allow your hair to lay flat and lay down all of the flyaways. After that, I just hit it with a hot comb and the wig is a laid in slave, you guys. Hey you guys, this is how I got this wig to look like this. I hope I was able to help y'all out and give y'all some tips about how to one, dye hair without bleach, and two, how to install a wig. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads a video, and definitely stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas. I've been kind of a little shaky in the beginning, but 12 videos will be uploaded before Christmas Day, okay? I'm doing 12 days of Vlogmas. I don't exactly know which days I'm going to be uploading, but I have all the video ideas and everything, so just bear with me. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads a video. And yes, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!